All right, uh, we're getting some breaking news right now. A top member of uh, Donald Trump's legal team has resigned. Yes, and let me get you details of that. The leading attorney on President Donald Trump's legal team, John Dodd, resigned amid growing pressure on the White House from the Russian investigation of Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Special Counsel Robert Mueller is scrutinizing the connections between President Trump's campaign and data mining firm Cambridge Analytica. So this is now having global ramifications. We've uh, seen an investigation that is uh, taking place in the United Kingdom. Even in India, checks and balances are being scrutinized. And now this is affecting the U.S. administration as well, Aditya. What, what is the latest that you can share with us? Well, yes, it's a big development. You rightly pointed out, Parikshit, it has global implications and ramifications. Uh, at this moment, uh, news breaking in that leading attorney of President Donald Trump's legal team, John Dodd, has put in his papers. He has resigned from the White House after Russia's, uh, you know, the entire investigation of uh, special counsel uh, Robert Mueller. Russia's intervention in the elections in U.S. has been a subject matter of discussion and debate for a very long time. Uh, it is, of course, uh, uh, you know, led to diplomatic standoff between U.S. and Russia as well. And now, as a result, uh, President, uh, you know, senior counsel in the legal team, John Dodd, has resigned as well. There have been speculations that there could be more resignations in line. We'll have to wait for that. But this is certainly something big. Also, it's important to point out that uh, Special Counsel Robert Mueller is scrutinizing the connections between the President Donald Trump's campaign and the data mining firm Cambridge Analytica. Uh, of course, uh, Cambridge uh, Analytica has made it very clear that they had nothing to do with this. Yesterday also, they released a chain of events ever since 2013 and their entire role in the investigation from the... Visit All right, Aditya, we leave it there for the moment. We leave it there for the moment, Aditya. Thank you very much for joining us. Donald Trump's uh, top lawyer has resigned as well as this investigation into... Data thefts grows bigger. We're going to short, take a short break at this point, but this voting for 58 seats in the Rajya Sabha will begin at 9 a.m. today, with vacancies arising in the upper house due to the retirement of MPs. With 10 seats going to polls from Uttar Pradesh, the BJP will look to increase their tally in the house. Prime Minister Modi will chair a crucial meet of the BJP parliamentary party in the capital later today. All union ministers and member of parliaments are expected to be present at a time when several parties have made a pitch for a regional front ahead of the 2019 general elections. The Delhi High Court will pronounce the verdict on a plea challenging the disqualification of 20 ARP MLAs in the Office of Profit case. Eight of the 20 MLAs had moved the High Court on January 23rd, challenging the President's order disqualifying them. The Supreme Court will continue hearing the Ayodhya dispute today after dismissing intervening applications by the Latin's lobby. The Apex Court will hear the case as a pure land dispute and will only hear the original litigants in the case.